Ooh, shirts and pants. Holy shirts and pants. It's a little corny and obvious, but what do you want to do with right? Oh, that's a hell of a good project. I'm going to mention something to become a second. And we are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, welcome aboard. I go through movies, news, documentaries, Netflix series, Netflix originals, and today I'm going over an Amazon Prime video original. It is Carnival Row. And this is season one of Carnival Row. It is one of the biggest um, projects and has the largest scope on Amazon Prime right now. It's huge. Um, and it looks like a movie, but it's eight episodes or ten episodes, and they're all an hour long. And it's um, it's starring Orlando Bloom and Cara Delevingne. And if you don't know um, either of those two, check them out. They're great actors and actresses. And this show went for it. And that's what I loved about it. So it is a straight up fantasy. It's got uh, political ties. It's um, got a murder mystery. And it's got three or four different species of uh, paranormal beings. So I would say what I like about it is the action. The action and the scope and the actual beauty of the entire world that they built was great. Um, I think it's difficult. You have to really pay attention. I think that's what the uh, biggest downfall is, is that there's so many interwoven plots and the first four or five episodes, you kind of are just getting into gear, getting into catching the momentum of this world and you're trying to figure out what exactly is happening and which characters should you pay attention to and which characters um, should fall by the wayside and which ones are subplots. And it doesn't have a correct path um, solidified right when you begin but when you get to the towards the end you see kind of what's going on and I just uh, it was just so big that's what it was so it just went for everything it's had so many thematic um, narratives in here so what I did okay so the cast was extraordinary uh, Cara De Devine is um, absolutely beautiful and then Orlando Bloom just I mean he's an A-list actor he's incredible and uh, at the very first few episodes, you kind of just see, I mean, there's not a lot of depth into um, his character. And then you kind of see, um, I don't want to spoil it. So there's a little bit more secrets and uh, past between these two, Cara Devine and Orlando Bloom's character. So Cara Devine is, um, she is a fairy and, or fae. That's one thing is that I wish they would have done a little bit more. They did do it, but at the very beginning, sort of like Lord of the Rings, they kind of have a, a prelude or a prequel and explaining the history and the tension and the ties. So it was just like the um, the uh, the imperialism between man and elves in Lord of the Rings. It's so silly to say, but they have that and you get to see and there's a little bit of narrative and they tee it up a little bit more. So with this, they kind of do it. They they have a, a chase scene, which is a, a extraordinary scene, and it looks beautiful. Um, but it just, I would have liked a little bit more narrative into the world instead of getting. It's like getting dropped in a time machine, and and it's in uh, eighteen hundred Victorian Paris, and you just have no idea what the customs are. You have no idea what the language is. So it's like you kind of just you have to catch up. So that's one thing that I did. Um, Wish they did. But I think this is open up for season two and they're going to start filming in October or have begun filming. Um, I think it's going to be one of the best series because it's got so much um, societal and political um, narrative and social commentary in here too. So it's a, all along immigration pretty much. And uh, the caste system in class and secondhand citizens between these fairies and these uh, centaurs and these uh, ram-like creatures. And that's one thing that it's just like kind of you have to suspend your disbelief and you got to really pay attention. You got to be really, really involved into this because some of it can become uh, self-sabotaging. So, but besides that, did I like the show? Yes, I like the show. And I think it has a lot of potential because they opened up so many different narratives. So there's like, four or five strings of uh, themes in here. And I think when you can open it up and maybe they'll even like dive into each species itself a little bit more, I think that has a lot of potential. I just think it's got too good of a cast. And it's got a humongous scope 
and the world that they built is outstanding. I think it'll be better in the second season. And if you don't know if you want to watch it or not, there's at least some nudity if you're uh, a young man. And so you get Cara Devine and there's a little bit of nudity in there. So if that's any sort of consolation, check it out. Um, but yeah, I love this show. It was just, it's just doing a whole lot. And I think it's just a little scatterbrained at the moment. And that's, that's the gist of it. I did like it though. I did like it a lot. I love the noir themes of this murder mystery. And there's like this gigantimonious being running around slaughtering folks. And you don't know who it is or what it is or what its motives are or anything like that. And Orlando Bloom's character is a detective and he's trying to resolve all of this while also trying to keep um, some sort of social equanimity because he likes the second class citizens, fairy, fay, critch, whatever they're called, the interchangeable um, pejorative terms. But it is awesome. Check it out. If you like fantasy, you're going to like this show. If you like murder mysteries, you're going to like this show. And, um, yeah, and it's a it's just a beautiful thing to look at as well. So that's what Carnival Row Season 1 has to offer. Let me know if you saw it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know uh, which second-class citizen you would be. I would be a centaur because, I mean, you got four legs. You're way faster than everybody else. Um, and you can't fly very fast when you're a fairy. So let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. A lot of good stuff to come. Let me know if you have seen it. All that just... And um, if you think uh, season two is going to be better in season one as well. So thank you so much, Matthew Benjamin. Until next time. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. After all, someone has to pay for the uh, lap dances for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking around. <laughs> yeah. Who feels so good when he jokes? <laughs> What's this uh, company called?